Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show 2024 Bravas 1300 our first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. When German supercar tuner Brabus partnered up with KTM to release its first ever motorcycle model, the 1300R, last February, we predicted it would be a sales success. And because the 1300R was heavily based on the already bonkers KTM 1290 Super Duke R Evo, the Germans saw no need to mess with the mechanicals, opting instead to give the luxury hyper naked its own brand specific visual identity. Turns out, success was a bit of an understatement. All 154 units of the approximately $45,000 Brabus were snapped up in under two minutes, spawning a follow-up model, the 1300R Edition 23, earlier this year, which also had a sellout run. So it's no wonder we're seeing a third version of the bike, the Brabus 1300R Masterpiece Edition, also derived from the KTM 1290 Super Duke R Evo. Brabus says this 1300R Edition will be the last of the series, and will also be the most limited. In this case just 50 units will be produced. Like its two predecessors, the Masterpiece Edition builds on the same platform, and is powered by the 1290 Super Duke R Evo's 1. Three hundred and one cubic centimeters V-twin set in a matte black steel trellis frame and suspended by WP Apex semi-active suspension, with cornering ABS, traction control, and a host of other electronic rider aids. Other carryover bits on the Masterpiece Edition include the 17-inch Brabus Monoblock Z forged wheels, though here the nine-spoke design is accented with a new gold platinum finish. Brembo brake components, heated grips and adjustable brake clutch levers and footbags are all back as well. The dual slip-on Brabus exhaust also looks like a rerun, though it gains a different body color and new gold accents with the model name laser etched on the rear mufflers. Which the company says was developed exclusively for the Masterpiece Edition. Also returning is the distinctive round LED headlight framed by an exposed visor. Though it's sporting more carbon fiber this year, as are the side fairings, integrated winglets, and a lot of front fender. In fact carbon fiber seems to be the running theme, with Brabus using the material for the single-sided swing arm cover, front spoiler, dash and connector covers. The triangular frame sections under the tank and seat as well as the cover for the rear side fairing. Additional carbon also appears below the headlight bracket, and each bike comes with the 1 of 25 badge on the tank. The bespoke heated single seat is covered in black leather with a diamond quilt pattern. While new padding for the tail cowl features a golden, Brabus masterpiece, badge to mark its limited edition status. Befitting its luxury positioning, each masterpiece bike also comes with a package of exclusive accessories, including a tailor-made indoor cover, because apparently parking this beauty outside is frowned upon, and a Brabus exhibition carpet, with a heritage, brand pattern we sense an indoor theme here, to create what the company calls an atmosphere of prestige, also included is the Brabus Masterpiece Box made of high-grade carbon fiber containing a personalized certificate of authenticity. The exclusive Brabus 1300R Masterpiece Edition is available now in onyx black or diamond white with a limited run of 25 bikes for each color. Depending on your choice, the bike's tank, tail cowl, and parts of the front fender will come in the black or white option. Brabus says the export price in Germany is €41,930 approximately 43700 US dollars. 